Welcome to Roland's How To Channel. If you're like me and many others that have either thought about cutting the cord with cable or already have, how would you like to be able to watch any of your normal TV channels and news for free? If you're interested, please keep watching this video and I'm going to walk you through all the steps on how I did it. I'm showing you my face so that you understand, hey, I'm not a young guy. I'm not super techie, but if I'm able to do it, I'm going to teach you how you can do it. And by the way, this is my high tech subscribe button. So do me a favor. If you like this video so I can keep doing more videos, please hit the subscribe button below. Anyway, this is about all you're going to see on my face. The rest of it, please watch that video and I'm going to show you a lot of things. So the first thing I'm going to show you is a little bit of what I'm doing. Okay. Essentially I'm using a fire stick and I'm using a, an app that I downloaded for free, which I'll walk through you called Firefox. All right. When you click on Firefox, all right, I have this website that I'll show you how it's already linked to my page. But basically, as you can see, you can scroll down and look for any, channel you want. Here's one, for example, like Cinemax. I click on there, hit the play button. And there you have it. You have another free movie. And then if you go down here and you scroll, I can enlarge this. So it fills up the full screen. Again, I'm going to teach you everything about how you do it, how you use the fire stick, the difference in fire sticks. So I just want you to stay tuned. But if you're interested in what you're doing, please keep watching. And again, as a reminder, please hit the subscribe button below. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm back. What I want to talk to you is about, uh, there's a lot of TVs called smart TVs, and that's interesting. But for the most part, a lot of people still don't have TVs that are smart. And to be able to do many things, what I like is a fire stick. There's a lot of things that you can do with the fire stick that you can't do with some other devices. And I'll talk a little bit different, but you know what? Let's start off with talking about the different fire sticks that have been released. And I'm, I'm showing you a picture of different gener generations. The first one was this fire stick right here. You can pretty much tell it, uh, it, it's, it's smaller in size compared just to the stick itself. Here's what I call a fire stick and here's a remote control. The next generation came out with a, what they call Alexa, where you can hit the button above, all right? And you can talk to it. You know what? Honestly, I don't talk so much. My kids do, but I just do everything with remote control. Now, another generation came out. It also has Alexa. It's the same size, pretty much, as this one here. They came out with Alexa. But the next generation, which is the one available now, they call it the 4K, all right? Now, and on this one, there is also now a, not only just the scroll button, but you have a, a, a power button that you can turn the T, your TV off, all right? And also too, there's a volume control. Now, one of the things that I'm gonna tell you is that within the, the different generations, okay? What I have noticed, it's, it just works faster. You can do the same thing on all three, all right? But these, but at the, the latest one is much faster. So if I was gonna do a fire stick, I would go with a 4K and you can even get it on sale for I think as little as $25. Now, all the fire sticks come with the following end. This is a little cable, all right, that you hook onto it to the fire stick and it's just an easier way to take it off and off of your TV. And I'll show you later how that hooks up to the TV. There's a power cord, okay? This plug, this right there, this part right here plugs into your fire stick. This one plugs into this power adapter and then you plug it into the wall. Now. One of the things that I did learn, okay, to save me from having to find a different power supply is you don't have to use this. If the back of your TV has a USB connection, a lot of those have power, okay? Some don't, some do. So if you plug this into your USB on the back of the TV, you don't have to come up with another power supply. Now, I want to talk about a thing called Roku, okay? This is an older generation, but it's also like a Fire Stick. It's a media player, okay? Um, I really don't, I think Roku is easy to use, but there's a lot more things that you can do with the fire sticks than you can do with the Roku that are programmable and you're watching YouTube videos, you're able to, um, you know, learn how to use any one of these. But again, 
Um, a lot of the TVs, actually, a lot of TVs already have Roku built in. That's the smart TVs. And again, but some TVs do have the Fire Sticks also. And what I find is that even if you have a smart TV, you can still plug in a Fire Stick and do some of the things that I'm going to show you how to do. And again, YouTube has tons of videos on other things that you can load. Okay, I'm going to make it real simple. Again, now let's talk about the Fire Stick so that you know something. So when I'm going to be going through some of the demos. Uh, let's go with this new one. All right. So when I say to you, hit the home button, that's the home button right here. Let me put it down. It might be a little bit easier to see here. That home button is one of like little house. Okay. This is the back arrow. So if I tell you to go back, that's what it is. Now in here, all right, that everything around here is actually a, a touch button that if you hit it on the left, it goes to the left. And if you hit on the right, it goes to the right. And if you hit down, it goes down. And then if you go up. And, and you'll do that when sometimes you're hitting uh, like characters on a display screen. And then when you say enter, you hit the middle of the button and that creates enter. So look, this right now is a little bit about uh, the fire stick. And in my next thing, I'm gonna go ahead and talk to you about um, how it plugs into the back of the TV. And then we'll go on now. Now again, do me a favor, please hit the subscribe button below and stay tuned. Hi. So look, now I'm back and I'm sure the back of one of my TVs. Now look, all the TVs are different, but again, they have a lot of commonality. So what I want to show you is, this is an HDMI connection, okay? It's, you can save with the shape, all right? If you look at this plug, you'll see this. Now, this happens to be, again, this is the latest 4K generation Fire Stick, right? And you see that small cord in the back, that's what's hooked up to power, all right? Not very fancy, I got, got it wrapped around the thing, but there's a power cord. All right, and I even have the dongle extension hooked up to it. All right, just makes it easier to plug in. And like in my case, right, I go to the HDMI and I put it on HDMI one. You can have it on either one of them and you can just watch it anyway too. Now, something I wanna point out too, here is a coaxial connection. This is where, like in my case, all right, I have a digital antenna outside that I get my local TV channels and I'll talk about that too in my video. But here's the cable, coaxial cable, pretty simple. Plug it into the back, you screw it in, all right? And this is just another way of having another input, very simple. So anyway, just wanna show you that this is how easy it is to plug in your Fire Stick, and please stay tuned to my videos. And again, please hit that subscribe button if you like it so far, and I appreciate it. Anyway, hold on, and we're gonna keep going with more of this training. Hi, we're back. So look, I have my Fire Stick plugged in, and there are a lot of other YouTube videos already that are going to show you, again, how to uh, set up your Fire Stick. So I'm not going to go through that. But your Fire Stick is on. You've got you connected to the internet. All right. Then what I would do is you go to you hit the home button. Remember I told you the home button. All right. Here it is. Hit the hit little house. Right. You hit the home button. You get to the screen, and then you use the little dial thing. Again, I'm just showing you right here. This one here, and you go up. And what you're going to do, you're going to go to now the search button and you hit enter in the center. Okay. When you hit the center, you're going to go down and you're going to type in Firefox. So you go here and see, I just did a couple letters and already came them up, but you go down over here and you hit, you hit in the middle, center of the button. All right. Then you hit the Firefox. And in this case, I, I took it off. So now I just hit the, the, the center button to do download. Okay. It's going to queue up. Go ahead, get, let it download. Okay, now it's installing. It's pretty quick. You go to open. All right, pretty easy. Now I just say on this one here, the turbo mode, I go and turn it off. I don't need that. All right, okay, I got it. Okay, where it says sign in, don't just ignore that. Click the go now. Okay, so now when you get here, enter. Okay, and again, you're gonna use that little button I told you on top over here where you scroll. So I'm gonna now enter US, U, S, T, V, then go, dot, T, V, okay? You go down to the next. So again, using the, the thing here that I'm scrolling down. All right. And then I hit in the middle and there I go. Now, 
It's gone there. So there it is. This is where you can watch all the different shows. Now, but there's a little trick, okay? Something I forgot to show you earlier. On the remote, there's these three little lines. Click the three little lines, okay? Then it will go back to here. Then what you do is you go to scroll over to this pin and you hit the pit and button, okay? Now, let me show you why you want to do that because now I'm going to go back to the home button, all right? I got out of the program. When I go to Firefox, I click on Firefox in the center, okay? It automatically goes there. Now, uh, I'm sorry because you know what? I kind of messed up. I need to do something else to show you something because it automatically remembered it. So I'm going to go up here to this my settings button. I, you don't have to follow me on this one. It's something kind of advanced, all right? I go to the application, manage applications, all right? Then I'm going to go to, I'm going to go, uh, where is my Firefox? I just missed that one there. Okay, we'll go through here. Oh, there it is. And I'm going to go ahead and stop it, all right? The reason I'm showing you that is because let's say you had it turned off and you go back to it. So when you get the Firefox, you click on it. And now because I stopped it, this is where, where you hit that pin. I go, I scroll down over to US TV Go and there you have it. It goes to the channel. So again, these are all the channels that you can get. Now look, some of them don't work, okay? This obviously is a, maybe a sports channel, all right? But look, there's AMC up here. You click on that, all right? Then you go to the arrow. Okay, and it starts to play it. All right, this is the one that we were watching earlier. Okay, and then it doesn't fill the full screen. You come down and you're gonna see these little arrows right there and poof, there it is, now it's a full screen. So essentially, there you have it, your free channels. And if you wanna go to another channel, you hit the back button. That was this one right here on your remote control, this little back button, you hit the back button your menu comes up again and let's one of my favorites is sci-fi so i'm going to scroll all the way down and there is sci-fi there you are okay and you hit the sci-fi channel all right so look now that's what's playing i think with the transformers so again do me a favor if you like what you see so far please remember to hit the subscribe button below it really helps me out so that I can grow in that one. And also too, please share this video with others. Please text it to them or email to them the link and they can also know how to do it. Now, I'm gonna pause it real quick because the next thing I'm gonna show you is some something that's limited on this one here is, this happens to be a channel that uh, shows things from the East Coast. So if you go to the news, you may not get local news, but I have a solution for that, okay? And with that, we're gonna be talking about a uh, HD antenna that you hook up to a coaxial cable that I talked about earlier and now you're able to get oh also by the way on my next video I'm going to be talking about how to hang a TV okay on the wall and one of the other things I want to point out is if you look at my TV the way it's set up my cables are hidden so you don't see the power or stuff like that again there's things that I did it and again and this is for anyone that could do it hey if I can do it again you can do it so again stay tuned and on one of my next videos, I'll talk to you about, about hanging up a, a TV uh, with the wall mount and how to hide cables as well. So hold on so I can you can find out about your um, how to get your local uh, news channels uh, for free as well. Even if you don't even have it, you don't even need the fire stick. This is for something else, but it is limited. All right. Hold on. And I'll we'll talk about that next. So, hey, I'm back. And uh, now I'm going to be talking about regular local channels. OK. And again, please remember to hit that subscribe button below if you like what you see. So right now I'm using my regular TV remote. And what I have is I have an antenna hooked up to connection. I'll go show it to you later, all right? That um, is actually run outside so I get better reception. But now the advantage here is that if you wanna watch local channels, you see I can scroll down, all right? And here is channel four. It happens to be right now they're showing a soap opera that I'm not interested in, okay? but. If I go go down, let's see what here. So anyway, the talk show. Anyway, but these are local channels. And as you can see, look at the quality. It's, it's HD quality and I'm getting this through the air. Nothing special, it's just a regular digital antenna. So again, if you wanna learn more about this one, hold on, I'm gonna we'll go back to the TV and show you my digital antenna. But this one's easy. This one just plaque in the back of the TV 
and you can watch some local channels. And by the way, I'm not limited to just the news. Uh, in some cases, I also get some other channels. Like for example, I like some older movies. You got Channel 9, um, 11, and here I get like some, some movies too. I know there's some older stuff, but hey, I like them. Uh, let's see here. There's a house. So, so again, these are, but these are local channels that I get with a digital antenna, not with a fire stick. All right. And again, very easy to do. Here's some more movies. So hang, hang on. And again, hit that subscribe button, please. All right. Hold on. I'm going to show you about the digital antenna. Hi, I'm back. This is the back of my TV. I know it's not pretty. Hey, you don't see it when they got the regular TV going, but hey, this is what I talked to you about the coaxial cable. Okay, it's going to the sp splitter because I have it hooked up to more than one TV. And this happens to be a powered uh, HD uh, uh, antenna. Okay, so it is powered because it gives me a better signal. And as you can see in the prior videos, you're watching the regular channel. So anyway, this is what I have hooked up here. Now, I did have my digital antenna um, hanging behind the TV and I wasn't getting great reception. But you know what? I'm going to walk you. You're going to get a little preview of my home. I'm op opening up my door. Okay. And I'm sorry about this. It goes through the wall. Okay. I have a security camera. Here it is. Here's my cable. Uh, it's not too very fancy. And here is my digital antenna I just have it hooked up right here and with that in mind guys I can get all the local channels and some of the other stuff I get about maybe 20 different channels all right again it's limited but you know what it gets my local news that my other um, Firefox did not do so hey stay tuned and I'll be ending this video so this is about the end of my video I'm back inside this is my one of my other TVs and again I'm happy to be watching one of my uh, I like old movies, okay? And again, this happens to be on the HD digital antenna. You can buy them for about uh, maybe $20 to $40. Like I go to Best Buy, I like that. Again, it's just something that goes into your coaxial cable, all right? And look, I'm gonna have some many more videos on how to do and help you. And again, I look at ways to do things on your own, save some money, you don't have to call the cable company or whatever. And again, the goal of this one here is to to cut the cord on cable. Um, I'm paying about now maybe like $54 and that includes the modem and the router. I don't want to get too technical, okay? But the whole thing about it is that right now I can watch my regular free TV, okay? And for $54 a month, I used to be paying like two, almost $300 in cable bills. So I'm sure that you may be happy about getting rid of it. So again, if you haven't done it, or maybe you've done it and then you're, now, Oh, something I forgot to mention. Um, on the Fire Stick and even on your HDTV, there's a lot of other things like uh, Netflix and Hulu and Prime and whatever. Again, those are apps that you can put on there. The only difference is those you have to pay for subscription. Um, honestly, I think one of the best ones is Netflix. I think it's one of the great ones because a lot of things don't buffer. So again, and I think it's the, now it's like maybe 12 bucks a month, $14 a month. But again, I would do that too. And again, there's tons of videos on the internet that'll teach you how to do that. So, you know what? I don't want to waste your time here. But, you know, browse the, on YouTube and just do a search and you'll find things. And now, in my description below, I'm going to go ahead and put an email address that you can email me if you have any specific questions or even suggestions about other videos. But again, I've got a ton of videos coming and I look forward to being able to uh, help you and help your friends. Um, and again, I welcome any suggestions. And again, please hit the subscribe button below if you like the video and it'll help me so I can do a lot more of these videos. And again, share it with your friends, your family. Uh, you can text the link or uh, maybe just send them an email. But hey, thank you very much. This is great. And I look forward to many more of my videos and helping you guys out. And I look forward to your questions uh, and suggestions. All right. Anyway, God bless. And uh, I hope this is helpful.